It's a battle of the knights. Mario's running the noble knights, and I'm running the new Fleur archetype. And we're gonna see how these two decks stack up against each other. This is one of the situations where trying a new deck, I kinda liked it. So Same. And it's actually a few times where we actually agreed on it. And it's a warrior archetype too, title. Maybe you're finally leaving dinosaurs and joining the warrior side. Well, I don't think warriors, dinosaurs are better. The only, the only real, the only real stop, card that actually stops almost every deck is your single, uh, <laughs> is your entire ultimate conductor. By the way, I noticed the field looks different actually. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Right now. Okay. It's What's a, it? Oh, more, the layout look, it's, it's a little different. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. So I had a card to my hand. I'll be honest. I have all of the options that I can search already in my hand. So uh, this guy's great. We'll do that, and then what's the play? If I activate this one, I banish him from my hand and add another Wind Beast monster from my deck to hand. Might as well. So we'll get, I uh, remember this boy being good, sure. So he can come out, and we can go straight to eight, I believe. Uh, oh no, it's level two or lower monster you can spell on this hand. Ah yes, this one is level three. That only combos with the other thing. Very good. Then we'll just activate this. And we'll get the Centaur Mina going using this. And I suppose, uh, do we go for Spear Holder? This card is summoned. You can use a level eight monster. Well, that's that's fine. We'll just uh, we'll just use it. And then that will use its effect to special summon that very same Spear Holder, I believe. And that can target something. And change it to Flare Sync Run. Make it a tuner, which is kind of necessary here. Just making sure I don't mess with levels. Cool. So, essentially, it's just now a tuner. And now that that's the case, I can go into this boy that I searched to my hand. I think I'm doing plays properly. It's weird. Yeah. No, the deck... The thing that I think that we both really like about it, it's not... It's not a hard learning curve as certain, as recent decks have been being Fair. forced. What Mario is saying is we're stupid and we like it when they dumb it down for us like this. I think the worst offender with that was the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely offended before. There we go. So now we got that out. Um, so I got that. Are you are that. you able to go into the biggest one? Or I don't believe end? I can. Mine's, as I'm saying, it was like on my second time running the deck. So there might have been a way for me to do so. But you know what? I don't hate this. I'll end my turn there. Although you can stop spell and trap card effects, which is going to be annoying. Which is useful against Noble Knights. I don't know how much about the trap specific effect stoppage, but... I mean, it's still good. What I used to do, which was a really, like, a really hard combo to stop in back in roleplay, was mm -hmm. comboing this the Ship of the Fleur with the uh, Goddess Bow. So it had two negates on it instead of just one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just thought of a, a funny matchup. Let's get these Fleur against uh, your Assault Mode. <laughs> that might be interesting, actually. Double trap it... stoppage. <laughs> oh, man. You're not stopping it, huh? Uh, I wasn't given a choice for reinforcement here. During Once during each of your... Oh, your turns. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Don't forget, this also came back during the 5Ds era, where, where Mirror Force and all those stock cards were still, like, floating around, mm -hmm. so... Okay, so that's not nearly as strong as a negate as I was hoping for, but it's here, so can't complain. Mhm. Mm okay. right, let me. See. If I were able to get to the other one, let's see. Quick effects negate activation anytime. Yeah. That effect is activated. Okay, so I gotta get to the final move. I just need to figure out how to do it. Because I'll be honest, I had like a uh, Flare Sync run in my hand. It's just I didn't have an extra summon for it. So maybe there is a world where I could have gotten it out and like done something else. If you would have been more aware, yeah. Well, not even more aware. Just a way to summon something else. I don't think I had one at the time, but there might be some certain string of events that lets me do that. Normal summon. Get these two rolling. Then I get my own synchro summoning going. Ooh. Very nice. Now let's see. Oliver, so I should go into Oliver then. 
I, I'll be honest, I haven't played the Noble Knights, especially the the flame version of them. Yeah, been a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think I'll bring out the Oliver version of him, which I believe he has a destroy a card on the field effect. Ooh. When this card declare Oh, well equipped. Okay. Okay. Not uh, hard to do see. with these cards, but... Mm-hmm. Activate. Oh my goodness. Now these guys get some neat little effects. Mm -hmm. First off, I get to equip. Yep. And There's then that uh, all fulfilled. A stuff gets to come back to go back come back to the field in about two turns, I believe. Okay. Uh let's see. So I gotta beat you before then. Basically. Now I'm hoping that this turns out the way I hope. Yes. Ooh, what can I do? What's this boy do? Let's see. I'm le it's letting me activate my white steed of the floral knights from the graveyard. So, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Target one card you control, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy the targeted card. Oh, so I have to destroy my own card. Okay. Which I think you're supposed to use with your Mina because I think once it goes to your exactly. graveyard... Then I get that be benefit. So I'm going to go for it. And that can also be another way to, uh, you know, target a set card and uh, get the whole field card combo moving as well. Why didn't you get to destroy a card, though? Um, let's see. What are the specifics of it? Oh, this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a wind monster. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it would work like that. Regardless, it's the one I would have preferred to lose. To so. lose it. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll set a card down. And I'll end the turn right there. You still have the right. stronger monster, though. That's yeah, true. definitely like a slow medium start for the both of us. Mm -hmm. We are both able to bring out a good monster, though. Yep. All right, so we got that piece set up for later. Um, burr, burr, burr. That's no harm in doing that. Uh, shame I don't have that anymore, but yeah, let's just go for the simple play here. I have a Flare Sync run in my hand. Okay, there was a little delay there. That terrified me, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we'll just go for the big guy. You're like, oh no, what does he have? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Baroness Defleur. I'm going to activate this to... Uh... Very nice. Yeah, stop that right there. Hmm. When a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, you can only use this once per turn, and there's no cost to it, so is there any reason that I shouldn't just stop the called by the grave? Um, is your monster going to do something to me as I attack it? Let's see. When you declare an attack, that's good, but I don't think you have another effect, right? That's uh, going to trigger. I think when he's destroyed, I think he gets an effect. Ah, uh, da 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 don't see it, but I'm also scared. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, on the turn on the turn that he wasn't destroyed on. Okay. I get to bring, I can bring it back as a, bring it back to the field as a tuner. All right. So that's fine. Um, we just got an anchor flare on the field. I don't really have any grand intentions for it, but it's cool. And uh, love ooh, this how has another this activated necro effect. I love Houston. how necro flare is getting effect is uh getting used now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Oh, very obvious combo. Check it. Baroness, I don't target you to destroy you. I target my Necro Flare. This lets my Sorcier de Flare come out. Yeah. Ooh, I should have waited till the end of my turn because the effect lets me special summon from your graveyard, so I should have killed you first. Then that way you could have taken my side. Okay. Which is which is an annoying combo, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Either way, um field is ours, so let's keep it. And we have a negate now. A real negate. Which is going to be annoying for me. It was a little early for the Sorcier play. But I could have played it better. Oh. You know what? I'm going to slow you down by taking away... Uh... Is Call by the Grave um, legal at 2 now, or is it just uh, an illegal deck? 
I think it's second legal deck. This is that okay. this deck is from like twenty twenty yeah. early, I think. Fair enough. Then I summon Noble Knight Boars. Boars. Then I activate. Bad, not bad. Oh, okay. So he has to equip another monster. I was kind of hoping I was gonna be able to bring out a uh, a regular monster. Oh. Uh. Because honestly, what I was kind of hoping to do was uh, bring him out and then go into the big level nine monster of the deck, which is a three K beater. Yeah, the that would have been handy. Infernal knife, the Emperor Charles. Okay. It's like I still got power on you. Yeah. Like, I can try to do my thing. Like, yeah. attack your sorcerer, the flur. Let's activate. hope I can negate nice and easy. Oh. Um, since it's not an activated effect, I guess I can't negate that. I did choose to activate it, though. was the issue. Hmm. It wasn't like, oh, you have to destroy a card. No, it's like, do you wish to activate a card effect? When a card or effect is activated, negate the activation. Yeah, it definitely didn't prompt me. I got everything. And checked. yours is a, and yours is a quick effect too, so yep. it should have priority. Yeah, I, I, it gave me the option to use it when you uh, did your call by the grave earlier. So, and I, d I did use it on your first call by the grave. This is weird, actually. Maybe we have been noticing there have been a few things weird with the program lately, so it could be like a weird interaction. Maybe. Do any of your equipped things give you like a special bonus or something? Uh, maybe actually. Let's see. Oh wait, what's going on here? Da -da -da -da. Once while it's face up on the field. Oh, yeah, that's that. Um, once per turn during the standby phase, you target a level one or nine monster. Return that card to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon that monster. Okay. That's um, asking if you want to bring back Sink of the Flur because uh, Sink of the Flur might be uh, the old, f the other one might be better for. Uh... For attacking on your turn because it has the whole trap negation on the attack. Oh, so I switched this one out for that? I believe so. That's what it's asking. If you oh, wanna... you target one. Huh. But like I said, if you had any other synchro in the graveyard, you could target it as well, not just uh, Joe with the Fleur. I don't know. I'm just going to click this and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it does. Shift it out. Okay. Neat. All right, can I do anything freaky here? Technically, I can just do that and get my big guy back out. That'd be fine. Um, what about this guy? That lets me banish something. And then add a uh, wind to my hand, but that's not necessarily exactly what I need. Let's just go nice and simple. And just get the same field I had out by making that a tuner. Just resummoning. That's perfectly fine with me. Okay, so I can see a couple reasons why that would be good. Particularly, like, if you have your, uh, Mina to work with again. Mm-hmm. But he did banish your Mina. Mm-hmm. So let's just try to pop you, I suppose. Oh, I can't target you. Maybe there is something preventing you because I maybe I have a card right now. I'm trying to look for it right now. Yeah, would it be, like, Oliver or something? Or is he just... I don't know. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Well, this card's an equip card. You can't target the equip monster with card effects. Oh, there it is. Is that Knight Oliver? Yep. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Which means that that's why you couldn't negate it because you target and destroy with that negate, I believe. Yep. That sounds about right. You can still destroy the battle, though, is the issue. Yeah, and I think I'm about to. Just double checking everything else. Do, 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 do. Bad it's not an uneven battle either. No, like it's. Yeah, going reasonably. But I think it's just playing fairly slowly for both of us is the only thing. Yeah. I've only drawn the Infernal Knights and only a, what, four is as my thing. Mm. I haven't drawn like in a single equip spell, oh. weirdly enough. I will self focus come back. He comes back, yep. Guess who gets to come back as well? <laughs> okay. Do we activate now? Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> Are you able to target and destroy now? Yeah, because he's scary, so. We'll do that now. So, oh wait, no, this is the, no, this is the special. This is the standby phase special summon, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, it is. Darn. Okay. Yes, um, this thing has three completely separate effects. <laughs> it's annoying. It's a good, it's a really good card, but it's like you have to remember what each one that you're activating. I know, and this program doesn't really tell you which you're trying to activate when you're doing it. Just expects uh, you to know what your card does. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, swing it let's back in your favor real quick then. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because I didn't bring him back as that. Uh, he's not technically a tuner. Mm -hmm. But I can do this. By sending away my boars on the field. Okay. Does he get his effect now? No, I was hoping that uh, I was hoping to get boars' effect. Oh, uh, yeah. This card becomes dark with his level increased. During your main phase, you can reveal three noble arms cards. Yeah, it needs to be noble arms. Not a, uh, knight. No, no, but saying from the, uh... From your deck, I'm surprised it's not letting me... Because I... Well, I you're not equipped with a Noble Arms card, so why would you get your effect? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're equipping yourself with another knight rather than a Noble Arms card. The arms is the key word there. Let me see. What can I do? Uh, what I can do is this... By using both of these cards, bring out Isolde. Isolde allows me to get an extra card to the hand. All right. Unfortunately, as you know, the uh, the issue with that, I cannot bring. It, I cannot use it the turn I bring it to the hand. That's pleasant for me. Hmm. I guess I'll bring the Magus. All right. Then I select a number, I say four, and I can send cards to the graveyard. So that way, when I actually get my stuff rolling. <laughs> Jeez, look at all those spells! I can special summon a Noble Knight card from the deck. Let me see. They're just like, how many Noble Arms cards you need? Here, take four of them. Four separate ones at that. Mm hmm. Not Let's bad, bring not out bad. the Majot. All right. Then, using these two, Nightmare oh, Unicorn. <laughs> Nightmare Unicorn. Jerk. Sure. <laughs> hey, haven't you ever seen a taking advantage of my mishap? <laughs> um, ha what? Haven't you ever seen a knight riding a flying, glowing unicorn? That's made out of partially metal and light. Yeah, my my guy that got sent back to my extra deck is riding one. <laughs> A glowing unicorn. <laughs> All right, I basically evened out, uh, evened this out at least. Yeah, but I was like, uh, oh well, no, no it's still. It's not impossible for your deck. I, one card can actually get you quite a bit if you draw the right one. Yeah, well, I don't have that little horse, so. Uh, this I can normal summon, banish that from draw one card, maybe, or I can activate it and get one beast monster to my hand, which could be the right guy, but then I'd have nothing else to play off of, which I don't think would save me, but I know it's a playable move, or I could just draw it random and hope to get the soul binding gate play, although I don't even think that saves me now, because then you can still attack, I, I just stop your summons effectively. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna go for the activate. Do that. Get this horse. Do that. He activates. Brings back one of these. Uh, doesn't matter which one. Um, you. Oh, that's just a hand as well. Well, it don't matter, because it's a fusion, so. Bada boom. That brings out the Mina. Then Mina goes off. Special summons. Let's see. Is there any uh, anyone that's particularly advantageous here? Not really. It'd be cool if I could make a Necro Flare play, but so be it. We'll just get the Flare Synchron. Because might as well. Um, 
we'll hit up Foolish Burial Goods right here. And so, how's this whole thing work again? So if I send Zone to the graveyard, let's see. And if this card, so I have the Soul Binding Gate in my hand. I uh, changed up the deck a little bit to make this a more playable thing as well, but you know, you still need to get the cards. Yeah. Let's see. Activate this card if you have no monsters unless it's spell your control for a card for it. Um, which I could technically do. Uh, but I can't do it as a quick play, I don't think. No. Not really. Alright, so I'll just send the uh, Galaxy Cyclone away. <laughs> and now we will go into... I can get the Chevalier back out, but that's about it. Unfortunately, Mina gets to go off. Um, I guess we'll just do the option with more life points. Because that'll still die. But you're going to have plays next turn, which I don't like. Well, I, I guess you need that enough to work with it. I forget what the card you searched up does. Alright. That's the last hurrah from this deck. Unless I get the zone. Uh, what do you got? Like Not I'm enough. trying to figure that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out myself right now. Alrighty. You got. Golden comes out. Very good card. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it wasn't over. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like high end play from either of these decks going on. It's just fairly even. Ah. Yep. Oliver is just crushing it this whole game. Oliver just keeps does just refuses to die. Mm -hmm. Definitely, well, if I, I could never have bring summoned him onto my field, that would have been well game. Honestly, yeah. But um, that's a combo that you land on. You don't exactly search. It I out. never get to bring him out as a Tino with another monster, though, unfortunately, because of the situation I keep landing myself in. Yeah, he's like a, a last thread that keeps coming back, rather than a you know something to build up upon. So you should be able to do that. I think that's the first. And he just completely successfully does it there. Yeah. Nothing stopping him. All right. All right. So what do you have left? I got the Soul Binding Gate in hand. Ah, oh, Necro Fleur. That's not what I needed. Um, the, which one? The old one or the new one? Um, probably the old one, I guess. Is it just the one that's like on that little stem? Yep. Yeah. Because there's a second Necro Fleur that's actually pretty good, if you remember. Um, and you can do that. Yep, nothing to target, nothing to destroy here, so, uh, we'll just end turn. And I think you just auto-win because you have your effect. It's a spicy duel, though. I like this matchup. Yeah. That was a long one, too, but it was good back and forth. Oh, yeah, it wasn't, like, clear victory on either side. Mm -hmm. Like the card to add to your hand. Finally. <laughs> now that it doesn't matter, you get everything. But might as well bring him out too, though. The sure. thing I've been trying to do. Go from Captain Oliver and Magus. Infernal Knight Emperor Charles. Select the card to return to the deck. Uh, let's send back the Roland, I guess. And these cards, yeah. The card, Heritage of the Chalice. Allow me to add another card to the hand. Let's add the uh, Calburn. And of course, I think I can, uh, yeah, I can equip cards from the graveyard onto King Charles, giving him some stuff. But his biggest effect, I can target a card on the field whenever I'm equipped. <laughs> oh, that didn't even go off, did it? No. Oh, because you only have Sorcerer to Fleur one in your deck, huh? I think so, yeah. And then let's just power him up with some good old fashioned noble arms cards. Yeah. Infernal Knight Emperor Charles, finish it off. I think I made the conscious decision to lower it down to a copy of one in the deck as well. Not that it would have saved me here anyway, um, but just because like it's a situational move. And Did it's I a move have that searched out. There was two in the uh, original deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I lowered I, I, it to it, make room for some stuff. 
I, honestly, I would have too as well because I don't. Yeah, I don't disagree it, with the call I made, but it's more. It, I think it's more the fact like it's uh, it's definitely a more an annoying card in your hand if you have more if you draw it. Yeah, and the first um time we played with these guys, I just kept drawing it in my hand, so it was just a dead card time and time again. And if it's something that you can only summon from your deck anyway, well, or that you're going to summon from your deck anyway, then boom, silly. You don't need to worry about drawing it. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little matchup. I think this is one of the better matched matches we've had. If you uh, have any other ideas of things that would be a nice match against Fleur, let us know. Do you want to see the one with them going up against a completely stronger than them deck that they might be able to counter? Possibly. We could go for that. Mario mm -hmm. brings his assault mode. But if you got other suggestions, let us know those too, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.